You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope all of you are doing well. Welcome along to the second video that of what I guess we are forming into a new series where I show you how to replicate um, the real life tactics of certain managers and teams in FIFA 20. The first one we did was for Pep Guardiola's 4-3-3 with Manchester City. Uh, go and check that one out by the way if you haven't done so yet. Seemed to get some uh, decent reception. I thought let's let's really start getting into the, to the meat of this and start getting on with some other teams as well. So I thought Jurgen Klopp, 4 3 3. Why not? He has, of course, just won um, Coach of the Year. So I thought this was probably the best time to really have a closer look at his tactics. And I'll tell you guys how to replicate, not only replicate them actually, but also how to adapt them a little bit so that it will work in game in FIFA 20. So we'll get right into it. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, and also leave a like if you enjoy it and check out my other videos as well. So, on to this system today. Now, he'll just play a 4-3-3, of course, and there are a couple of things I'm going to do in terms of adjusting positions. Bear with me along the way. I'll always explain my decisions, so we will come to that. So, you've got your 4-3-3 here. This formation is fairly close to how it will actually uh, look at the end, but there are a couple of changes we're going to make. So you've got your back four, and the first thing we are going to do is, similar to the Pep Guardiola video, we are actually going to boost the fullbacks from the regular fullback position into wingbacks. And the reason being is that in FIFA, if they're playing at a base fullback position, normal right back, normal left back, they don't get forward as much. Um, and they're not as attacking minded as if they're in wing back, of course. And the the fullbacks for Liverpool are just an in, such an integral part of the team. That's where they get their creativity from. It isn't actually from this midfield free. It's mainly um, from the fullback. So you want them to be in more advanced areas, receiving the ball uh, and ready to go. They should be overlapping past this holding midfielder. They should be getting um, right to the byline. And this will help them do that. So you want them to be in the wing-back positions. Uh, we'll come on to their instructions after this. So you've got your uh, midfield free. That's fine. But in the base setup in FIFA, it's got Firmino as an actual centre-forward position. Even though that's, that's not really a real position. It, it's either centre-attacking middle striker. There is no CF. A centre-forward is a striker. Um, so they've got them in this sort of phantom position anyway. In between that. Um, there's no need for that because... Um, if he's in that position, he won't be getting into those areas in the box enough. Um, so what you want to do is actually move him up to striker and we can change his role um, shortly in instructions. So this is actually the system you want to go with. Still a 4-3-3, of course, just looks uh, a little bit more out of shape compared to what the base system is. But trust me, this will work uh, a whole lot better. So you've got that. Now we move on to instructions for each player first before we come on to the tactics. So with Alisson, you've got sweeper keeper. That's absolutely fine. And then with the two centre-backs, uh, of course, you want them to stay back while attacking. Um, by the way, we did mention this in the last video as well. In terms of interceptions, always keep them on normal unless you are really chasing the game and you desperately need a goal because uh, what happens is if you change this to aggressive uh, then you tend to lose stamina it does drain on the, your player's stamina a whole lot more and conservative is just not the way um, that Liverpool play so keep them on normal um, and like I say unless you're chasing uh, a goal so we come on to the wing backs You'll want them on join the attack and overlap, of course. Again, interceptions are normal. That's pretty self-explanatory. We all know, um, you know, how the way the way in which they play. Um, like I say, they're just such an important part, integral to this system. Like I say, this is where they get their creative um, sort of elements from. The, the midfield three, which we can come on to now, is actually. Sort of the utility men in the sense that they're there to do the dirty work. They're not there to be the creative outlet. Like I say, this comes from the fullback and also on things like the counter attack with the front three. The midfield three very much there to sort of just keep the ship keep the ship steady. Excuse me, keep possession recycled and go again. So with Fabinho. You've got them on cut passing lanes. Now, for the sake of FIFA, you actually want this on balanced. 
because you want them to keep their shape. In terms of cutting passing lanes, it's not particularly how he plays. He sort of mixes it between man and zonal, um, sort of. So in the sense, in open play, man marking, of course, you're sticking with a man, probably an attacking midfielder. Cut passing lanes, more zonal. You're not sticking to one man, you're keeping to areas on the pitch, the space. Uh, you want that on balance for the sake of FIFA because, you know, sort of things tend to go a little bit wrong if he's trying to stick to one or the other. So keep that unbalanced. And in here, you want him to stay back while attacking. Now, with FIFA, there are sort of some issues where even when you've got a centered defensive midfielder on stay back, there will, um, there will be occasions or a lot of instances where they will still be getting forward. If that becomes too much of a problem, you can have him to drop between the defenders. Will sort of impact on that midfield free that base but you know if it worse comes to worse just change it to drop between the defenders really this should work stay back while attacking Fabinho is there like I say to mop up and keep that shape um, he doesn't really venture forward and then normal interceptions of course and then you want to change his defensive position from cover wing to cover center the reason being is that um, you don't want to leave yourself too bare in the center people might think that because the fullbacks have gone forward he'll be covering the wing no that will be the job of the two men ahead of him uh, for Fabinho he will stay in the center keep that base free with the two center backs so keep him in the center and then we move on to the two center midfielders usually Henderson and Wijnaldum now, um, for the attacking support, you actually want it on balance. Now, like I've sort of saying, these are the utility men. They are not the, the pieces of threat, really, that this team is trying to carry. And therefore, for both of these, actually, you want them to stay on the edge of the box. You can stick to balance. You don't really want them staying back just because you want them to surprise to provide that support in case anything goes wrong so you can keep that on balance but you want them to stay on the edge of the box the only time really you're going to see them storming into the box such as Henderson for example who is um, actually the best example is when he's actually on the ball and when he's on the ball maybe he sees a bit of space he drives into it and creates something feeds for a pass loops over a ball etc um, but if he's off the ball, very, very rarely in this system do you see him making those darting runs into the box. So put stay on the edge of the box for crosses for both of them. Balance attack will do fine. If you're very cautious about the counter attack, you can change one of these at least to uh, stay back while attacking. But make sure at least one of them is on balance. Provide that support so you can recycle possession uh, and go again. And like I say, um, both of them will be on the cover wing. So Fabinho and the two centre backs should really be in the centre. And if you find that on the counter attack, um, the opposition is going down the wing, exploiting the space left by Robertson or Alexander Arnold, uh, Vine Aldum and Henderson will be the ones to fill in uh, those roles there. So keep them on cover wing. Now we go to the front three, the two wingers, um, Mane and Salah. Now, of course, you want them to get in behind. You've got just incredible amounts of pace and this is where um, they are at their best and also cut inside as well of course left footed right footed either on opposite wings they're there to cut inside and get the goals of course they are the main goal threats you also want them to get in the box for crosses as well in terms of defensive support really you want them both to stay forward and that's generally what they try and do um, the, the three central midfielders are the ones they're covering so much ground. They've all got incredible amounts of stamina, uh, as we have a look here. Um, they've all got incredible amounts of stamina, and they're there to, you know, fill in the dirty work, like I say, for the front three. So what Liverpool try and do, and it will, of course, alter it occasionally. So let's say if they're playing a, a team like a Man City, a Tottenham, who are committing men forward, they will, of course, change it to, you know, come back on defence. But really... All three of these should be staying forward. So you want the wingers as well uh, to stay forward. Um, and then you should have that free block of free up front. And if you can get the ball away quickly, you then, of course, you've got all that space to run into. Uh, and that's where a lot of their, their goal threats come from. So stay forward, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for both uh, wingers. And then, of course, Roberto Firmino up top. 
Do you want him to stay central for a start? That the side area should be more than uh, adequately covered with the wing backs and the wingers as well. So you want him to stay central. And the reason why we move him up is from that centre forward role originally to striker is because you can still play him as a false nine. But the difference is, as a striker, he'll still be getting into those areas in the box where he can, you know, tap in, etc. So. In terms of that, false nine should do fine. Um, and also you want him to stay forward like the wingers as well. So that's how the instructions work. Um, and it will all fill out nicely for these tactics. Now, with Liverpool, the most common misconception about Liverpool is that they are this ultra gegen pressing, extreme pressing type of team. Uh, and so people think you put on constant pressure. This is certainly not the case. They are. It's just... It's not part of their game plan, I'm afraid. Um, there are teams in the in the Premier League, for example, Tottenham, who have a much more extreme press mentality um, and employ that compared to the likes of Liverpool. So actually what it is with Liverpool is you've got press after possession loss. Otherwise, they really return to their block and they'll wait to win the ball sort of slightly uh, you know, sort of deeper on the pitch. So unless they lose possession, then of course they try and shock the opposition, put them under pressure quickly. And as it says, it will be approximately seven seconds. And then with defensive whips, you actually want to move this to free. And the reason you want to do that is what you'll find is that when the opposition have the ball in the attacking third, i.e. Liverpool's defensive third, the fullbacks will tuck in uh, and they'll form that defensive line of four and they will be within the width of the penalty box. And then the wingers, should they be coming back, all the centre midfielders will come out wide and mark the either the fullback or the opposing winger, etc. Uh, whereas these like to keep their shape and keep the four. So it stops them people, uh, opposition players, running in between the lines, in between the positions of your players. In terms of depth, Liverpool did actually try um, at the start of the season to play a very high line, something that they haven't done a whole lot um, since Klopp has taken over. It hasn't it hasn't quite worked, and as you've seen in the last couple of games, I'm recording this on the uh, 25th of September, the last couple of games such as Chelsea um, and uh, probably Newcastle as well actually, you've seen them sort of bring it back a little bit. And as a result, then it gives the opposition the sort of emphasis on the fact that they've now got to take on players. So you've got one-on-ones with the likes of Van Dijk, Joe Gomez, should he be fit again, um, and the fullbacks as well. So it's much harder for them to beat, whereas if you're playing them offside, you're giving the opposition a, a m whole lot more advantage. So actually, you want to bring this down uh, to about level six, and that should be okay. It's more about um, keeping a, a mid-block. Um, so that's it for the defence. And then on to the offence. Um, in terms of the offensive style, fast build-up. As we say, the, the counter-attacking mentality that has been installed, in particular for the front three, is just the most dangerous thing about this side. And therefore, once you win the ball up fairly, as I say, the reason why you want the depth to be here, you've got your mid-block, so you'll win it in sort of the middle areas, and then it gives your front three men um, just acres of space to, uh, to run into. And that's what it's all about. In terms of the width... You want to actually narrow this to around about four. So it doesn't make it to the point where they're extremely narrow. And there's an emphasis on short passing play. Um, but what it does is it gives the uh, the sort of the wingers, the centre midfielders, bring them a little bit closer. And then the wing backs, Alexander Arnold and Robertson in this case, will provide the width. They'll be overlapping. And then you build from there. Um, in terms of players in the box, you actually want to move this up a little bit to uh, six. So there should be around about three. So you've got the three wingers, maybe a fullback running into the box as well. You don't want to push it up too much. Like I say, um, the centre midfielders should really be there circling around the outside of the box, keeping the ship steady. Uh, so you want about six and three should be okay. Like I say, a wingers and maybe a wingback comes in uh, here and there as well. And then in terms of corners, you want to push this up to four purely um, for reasons on FIFA. So, you know, not enough players getting into the box. Also, you find that your best, maybe your best aerial targets aren't in the box. So if you push this up to four, it should deal with that um, sort of problem a little bit better. Same with free kicks as well. So, 
that would round it off then, guys. I hope I managed to explain it to you guys um, to as best as I can. If you've got any questions, be sure to let me know, uh, and I'll be ha more than happy to answer them. I hope I've filled in all of your... Um, uh, sort of questions hopefully but like I say if not get at me in the comment section and uh, I will get back to you if you've got any suggestions of other tactics you want to see me recreate then um, be sure to let me know in the comment section as well and I'll take all on board I've already had a couple of suggestions that I'm going to look to do in the future so we will be sure to uh, get on that on that note though we are going to finish off there thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this and you want to see more be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, and ring the bell so that you get no notifications every time i upload don't forget to check out my ac milan fifa 20 career mode series um, that is currently ongoing we're doing a realistic rebuild so do go and check that out and check out any of the other tactics videos i've done so far as well on that note time to finish it off there thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time Come on.